हेलो 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 A good afternoon, students. This was the last example we solved in previous example. So we'll start with the next example now. Okay. So the next example is a x square plus two x y minus three y square plus four x plus c represents a pair of perpendicular lines, and we have to find the values of a and c. Similar example we have already solved. We should know what is the condition for. Perpendicular lines. Okay. Now we will first compare this equation with standard equation. What is given equation? Okay. The given equation is a x square plus two x y minus three y square plus four x plus c is equal to zero. This is the given equation. Okay. Now we will compare it with Or standard equation. What is the standard equation? It is a x square plus two h x y plus b y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c is equal to zero. This is our standard equation. Now we will compare these two equations and try to find. All the values like a, h, b, g, f, and c. So what is a? So a here a is equal to small a capital B. Capital B is equal to it is minus three. See capital three is equal to minus three. What is two h? Two h is equal to two x. So that means h is equal to x. H is equal to x. Hello. 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 Am I audible? Hello. Hello. Am I audible? हेलो आवाज येतो आहे का हेलो 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 सो टू एच इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स सो दिस इज टू एच So 2h. If we compare these two equations, then 2h is equal to 2x. That is, h is equal to what? That is x. H is equal to x. So now, 
sorry, 2h is equal to what? 2h is equal to 2, not 2x, it is 2. It is not 2x, it is 2h is equal to 2. So therefore, h is equal to what? h is equal to 1. Okay. So next, what is g? It is 2g is equal to what? 2g. 2gx. We will compare these two terms. 2gx is equal to 4x. That means 2g is equal to 4. That is g is equal to what? g is equal to 2. Similarly, 2f. 2f is equal to? 2f is equal to? So y, you do not have any term in y, so therefore 2f must be 0, that is f is equal to what? f is also equal to 0, and c, capital C is equal to small c. So these are the values we get after comparing these two equations, okay? So since the lines are parallel, what is given here? What is given in the equation? The lines are not parallel, they are perpendicular, okay? So lines are perpendicular. Lines are perpendicular. So what we can write? We have already solved a similar example. So a plus b is equal to what? It is zero. So whenever the lines are perpendicular, we can write a plus b is equal to zero. And when the lines are parallel, we can write x square is equal to a b. So here it is a plus b is equal to zero. What is value of a? It is small a, and the value of b is minus 3. So my a minus 3 is equal to 0, which implies that a is equal to, if minus 3 is taken on the right hand side, it is 3. So a is equal to what? a is equal to 3. Okay. Awad, you have Siddhi Gautar. Siddhi Gautar. Awad, you have Siddhi Hello, how are you? Oh, sir, how are you? Yes, sir, how are you? Okay. So, we just found out that value of A is equal to what? It was 3. So, I just cleared it out to make some place, make some space to do the further calculations. Okay. So, what? A is equal to 3. Also, what is said? The given equation represents a pair of lines. Okay, so this also we have already seen. Okay, the given equation is the, the given equation. What the given equation? It represents represents a pair of lines. Okay, it represents a pair of lines. What we can write? So. In previous examples, we have seen this. Okay, so what we can write? A, B, C, plus two F G, H, minus A F square, minus B G square, minus C X square is equal to what? Is equal to zero. So whenever the equation, the given equation, represents a pair of lines, you can write this formula okay you can write this abc plus 2 fj minus a f square minus bg square minus ch square is equal to zero but what we have found is value of f okay we will write it again so 2f what 2f is equal to 2f is equal to zero so f was equal to zero so there was no term in y that is that means value of f was zero and c is equal to c, so capital c capital C was equal to small c. So now we will put those uh, all these values in this equation and try to solve. Okay, so f, value of f was equal to 0. So this term, this whole term will become 0. Also this term will become 0 because the value of f is 0. So anything multiplied by 0 is still a 0. So a, b, c. Now we will put values of a, b and c. What is value of a? Value of a is 3. So here we found out the value of A. So value of A is equal to 3. Then value of B is equal to minus 3. 
it, we, we got this value by comparing the two equations. Okay, minus three into what c value of c is small c plus. Now we will write this term. Okay, plus b g square. What is b? B it is minus. What is b? It is three minus minus three. So it becomes plus three. So three into two square g is equal to two. So it is two square g is equal to two. So g square plus minus sorry minus minus c x square or c well what is value of c it is c small c and value of h is equal to one it is one square okay it is one square this was wrong it is one one c is equal to zero so three into minus three into c that that is minus nine c plus this is twelve minus c is equal to zero so minus nine c minus c addition of these two will be minus ten c plus twelve is equal to zero so now we will subtract twelve on both the sides that becomes minus ten c is equal to minus twelve so minus minus they get cancelled but remains 10c is equal to 12. That means c is equal to 12 upon 10. So c is equal to 12 to 5. 10 to 12 to 6 is equal to 12. So 6 divided by 5. So this is the value of c, and we have already found value of a. So this pair will be the correct answer. So a is equal to 3. C is equal to 6 upon 5. That is the correct option. Okay. So you should remember this this formula. Okay. So whenever you are said that the given equation represents a pair of line, whatever may be the equation, if it represents a pair of line, then you can write this: a b c plus two a g h minus a x square minus b g square minus c x square is equal to zero. And whenever lines are par parallel, whenever lines. Are perpendicular, sorry. Perpendicular. Whenever the lines are perpendicular, you can write a plus b is equal to zero. Using this equation, we found out value of a. Then we use this value a in this b equation, okay? And that enabled us to find the value of c, okay? Now we will see next example. So distance. Now we are here asked to find the distance of a point. See, this this is the point four three eight, and we have to find its distance from y axis. Y axis. You can imagine a three dimensional space here, and you you are given a point in space, a three dimensional space, and you have to find its distance from one of the axis, that is y axis. So. Here, how to solve this question? The distance of the point. So, how? What will be the distance? This is the easiest example you can find in this example. Okay, what is the distance? It is root of x square plus z square. X square plus z square. So, you are asked to find the distance from y axis. So, you you will not consider y square here. So, y square is equal to zero. You will consider y square is equal to zero. So, similarly, if you are asked to find the distance. Of any point from x-axis, you will you will not consider x square here. You will put y square plus z square. Similarly, for if you are asked to find the distance from z-axis, you will get, you will write under root x square plus y square. Okay. So whatever uh, at the axis is given, you should not consider its term. Okay. If y square y-axis is given, you will not consider y square. If x-axis is given, you will not consider x square. And similarly for Z as well. Now we will solve this. Okay. So x square plus z square. So what is the value of it? This order pair. This you can consider it as x, y, and z. Okay. X, y, z. So what is value of x? It is four. So four square plus what is value of z? It is eight. Eight square. So four square divided by eight square. So four square is sixteen plus eight square it is sixty-four. So what is sixteen plus sixty-four? It is Root eighty. What is root eighty? You can write it. Write it as you can split this 
what the what are the factors of 18 16 into 5 so 16 you can take out of the root as 4 4 root 5 4 root 5 you lose whichever the correct option you should give it okay which one is the correct here 4 root 5 so this is the easy way to find the answer of such questions okay so remember when y axis is given here you have to find the distance of a point from y axis you will not consider y square here the actual standard equation it is it is like this x square plus y square plus z square this is the equation to find the distance of any problem point from the origin okay zero 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 that is origin so if you are asked to find the, the distance of any point from origin you will use this formula but here we were asked to find the distance from y axis so y y will be zero here. if you are asked to find the distance from x axis x will be zero if you are asked to find the distance from z axis you will consider z as zero okay next example okay so what is the question given the combined equation of the pair of lines through origin such such that one is parallel to 3x plus 2y and the other is perpendicular to 6x plus 3y plus 17 is equal to 0. So we are given two lines, okay? We have to find the combined equation of two lines. So, so we have to find the combined equation of two lines. So suppose those lines are L1 and L2, okay? L1 and L2 are two lines. And what we are, we are given? One line is parallel to this, okay? So slope of this line will be equal to slope of L1. So parallel lines both have similar slope, same slope and other is perpendicular to this line, perpendicular to this line. So what perpendicular? There is another way to find the slope of perpendicular line. So I have already told this. So if M1, M, suppose M, M is the slope of one line, M is the slope of slope of some line, then what is the slope of a line perpendicular to perpendicular line slope what will it be it will be minus 1 by m okay so m you have to first take reciprocal of it so minus 1 by m and then you will multiply it by minus 1 that is minus minus into 1 by m. so minus 1 by m. suppose for example you are given that a slope of a line is 4 then what is the slope of line perpendicular to it it is 1 upon 4 and minus minus one upon four. Suppose you are given a slope of line is three by two. What you will do? You will first take reciprocal of it. What is the reciprocal? Three by two, and then multiply by minus one. That is minus. Just put minus behind it. So minus three by two is the uh, slope of the line which is perpendicular to it. That is how you find the slope of perpendicular line. Okay. So for parallel lines, the same uh, slope is same for both the lines. Okay. Okay, now we will solve this okay, slope. Now, first we have to find the slope of this line. So, what is given here? It is parallel to this line. So, slope will be same for both the lines. So first, consider slope of first consider slope of 3x plus 2y is equal to 3. Then we will represent this equation in form of y is equal to something. Okay. So, first 2y is equal to what then? If this 3x is taken on the right hand side it is 3 minus 3x okay now we will divide it, the whole equation by 2 so y is equal to what 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 x so what is coefficient of x the coefficient of x is the slope so slope is equal to what slope is equal to minus 3 by 2 that is the slope of first line so the line is parallel parallel what is the equation? What will be the equation? Equation of line parallel to it. parallel to it. What will be the equation? So, as the line is parallel, the slope will not change. Okay, slope will be same for parallel lines. Even if you are given ten parallel lines, slope of all the ten parallel lines will be same. So here, m is equal to what? Minus three by so what is the equation of line? It is simply y is equal to m x. That is y is equal to m minus 3 by 2 x. You can write if you multiply this two on the left hand side, it is 
2y is equal to minus 3x. 2y is equal to minus 3x. That is 2y plus 3x is equal to what? 0. So this is the equation of line 1. First line, okay? 3x plus 2y is equal to 0. Or 2y plus 3x is equal to 0. You can write anything. Now we will consider the second line. But say what is the difference here? Now we have to find the slope of a line perpendicular to it. Okay. So first we will try to find the slope of the given line. What is slope of 6x plus 3y plus 17 is equal to 0. You can rearrange the equation as 6x plus 3y is equal to minus 17. That is 6. So Okay, we will take the term in x on the right hand side of okay? it. All the terms in x, only you should keep y on the left side of okay? it. We will keep y on the left side, everything will go to right hand side. So 3y is equal to minus 17 minus 6x. Okay, now we will divide everything by 3. So y is equal to what? Minus 17 divided by 3 minus. 6 divided by 3 x that is y is equal to minus 17 divided by 3 minus 2 x minus 2 x so what is the coefficient of x remember whatever the coefficient of x is the slope okay is the slope of the given line so you should first write the equation in y is equal to something called okay you should only keep y on the left hand side just as we did in the first equation y is equal to something here also we did y is equal to something so y so the coefficient of x is the slope so what is slope here for this line slope is equal to minus 2 so what is slope slope is equal to minus 2 therefore what is slope of line perpendicular to slope of line perpendicular to it so in first like the first part we saw that the line, when the line is parallel the slope will be same nothing will be changed in the slope okay but in perpendicular line what will become so minus two minus two is given here okay slope is minus two so what will be the slope here first we have to take reciprocal of it so one upon minus two and we will multiply it by minus one that is what one by two one by two is the slope so what will what will be the equation equation of line what will be the equation of line it is simply y is equal to mx that is y is equal to half x that is 2y is equal to x if you would take your x on the left hand side it is 2y minus x is equal to 0 this is the second equation okay this is the second equation of line x minus 2y is equal to 0 or you can write 2y minus x is equal to 0 Okay, so this is the first equation and this one is the second equation, okay. Just remember these two parts, okay. When the line is parallel, the slope will be same. But when the line is perpendicular, given that the line is perpendicular, you should take reciprocal of it, then multiply it by minus 1, as we have done here, okay. That's how we found out this value of half, say, second line. Some, some of the problem is remained here. What? Now we have found both the equations. So now we have to find what? Combined equation of line. Combined equation. Now we just found out both the equations for first line, a, a line a equation for line parallel to 3x plus 2y plus 3 is equal to 3. And other one is the equation of line which is perpendicular to this equation. Okay, This line. Perpendicular. So both the equations are here 1 and 2. And now we have to find Combined equation. How do you find combined equation? Combined equation can be found out by simply multiplying both the equations. So now we will mul multiply these equations. So first equation is 2y plus 3x is equal to 0. Okay. 
2y plus 3x and what is the second equation it is 2y minus x is equal to 0 so we will multiply this what is 2y into 2y it is 4y square now 2y into minus x it is minus 2xy now 3x into y it is 6xy plus 6xy and 3x into x is equal to minus 3x square is equal to what 0 is equal to 0 so we will simplify this now 4y square minus 2xy plus 6 6xy it is 4xy okay, minus 2xy plus 6xy that is 6xy minus 2y is equal to 4xy minus 3x square is equal to 0 so this is our, our combined equation let us check if the equation is in the options or not so let's see so suppose we multiply my multiply this whole equation by minus 1 or we take all these terms on the right hand side what we get so 4y square becomes minus 4y square this plus 4xy becomes minus 4xy and minus 3x square becomes plus 3x square is equal to 0 now if we rearrange this it becomes 3x square minus 4xy minus 4y square is equal to 0 okay so this is the correct option okay second this is the correct option that is how we find the combined equation of any uh, any lines of okay, any pair of lines first you have to find the equation separate equations of line first and then you have to multiply them so that is how you multiply and then get the combined equation okay, okay. next example now we are given an equation which represents a pair of lines what is the equation given here first if the equation 2x square plus xy minus y square plus x plus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0 so this is the given equation okay and it represents a pair of line and we have to find the angle between them we have to find the angle between them now this equation is given so first thing you should remember is that we have to go we must know the standard equation how the standard equation is given so what is standard form what is standard form it is a x square a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equal to 0 this is the standard form now we will compare compare it the given equation with standard form what we get so coefficient of a coefficient of x square it is a here and here it is 2 so a is equal to a is equal to 2 okay a is equal to 2 now similarly 2h is equal to here what coefficient of xy is 1 that means 2h is equal to 1 that means h is equal to 1 by 2h is equal to half okay Similarly, we can write b. What is b? y square, coefficient of y square, it is minus 1. So, b is equal to minus 1. So, now x, coefficient of x, 2g is equal to this, this 3, only these 3 values are needed here, but I will write all other values as well. So, 2g is equal to what? 2g, coefficient of x is equal to 1. That means g is equal to 1 by 2. 1 by 2. So also 2f is equal to 2m. So coefficient of y. Coefficient of y it is 4. So 4. So f is equal to 4 divided by 2 it is 2. And c is equal to what? C is equal to c means constant that is minus 3. This is value of c. Okay. Now how what is the angle between uh, two lines? How it is given? So angle is represented as angle is given by angle how it is given so tan theta we have already saw a similar example on this okay tan theta is equal to 2 divided by x square minus a b divided by a plus b this is the standard formula you must remember okay it is tan theta is equal to mod of 2 under root x square minus a b divided by a plus b now we will put values so 2 
root x square. What is x square? It is half square. So it is 1 by 4. 1 by 4 minus ab. What is ab? a into b. a is 2, b is equal to minus 4. So what is ab? 2 into minus 1 divided by a plus b. What is a? It is 2 plus b. b is equal to minus 1. So minus 1. So 2 into root 1 upon 4 plus 2. See, 2 into minus 1 it is minus 2. So minus minus 2 it is plus 2. So 2 plus minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1. Okay. Now again 2 into root 1 by 4 plus 2 it is 9 divided by 4 is not it is 9 divided by 4 so, so you multiply this 4 into 2 it is 8 1 plus 8 is equal to 9 9 divided by 4 divided by 1 8 divided by 1 is you, you need not to write it so now 2 into 1 this root 9 by 4 means 3 by 2 this 2 and 2 get cancelled what is remain is equal to 3 okay 3 so tan theta is equal to 3 tan theta is equal to 3 so theta is equal to theta is equal to what tan inverse of 3 okay tan inverse of 3 so this is the correct option okay what we have done in this example we first compared the given equation with standard form what was the standard form ax square plus 2 hxy plus by square plus 2 gx plus 2 fy plus c is equal to 0 we only needed the values of a, h and b. So we found out the value of a, h and b. Now how the angle is given? Angle is given by tan theta is equal to 2 into bracket, 2 into root h square minus a b divided by a plus b. And you have to substitute all the values you found out and then calculate the value of tan theta. So that's what we done here. So tan inverse theta is equal to minus theta. Okay, the next example. So, okay, what is given here? So, in example before previous example, we found out the combined equation. So, we were we first found out the separate equations and then we multiplied it and got combined equation. But in this example, combined equation is already given. Okay, this is combined equation. It is already given and we have to find the separate equations. How do we find it? First we will write 6x square minus 5xy minus 4y square is equal to 0. Now you must have solved quadratic equation. This is also in quadratic equation. This is not quadratic equation but you can solve it similarly like you used to solve quadratic equation. So this is 6 and this is minus 4. So what is the product of 6 and minus 4? It is minus 24 and you have to find out the, the factors of minus 24 so that they can add, either add up to minus, minus 5 or they, their difference is minus 4. So what are the what are the factors there? 8 and 4. Sorry, 8 and 3. 8 and 3 are the factors. 8 and 3. So here it is minus 5, so you will write minus 8 and 3. So what is multiplication of minus 8 and 3? It is minus 24. 8, 3 is a 24. So minus 8 into 3 it is minus 24. And what is the addition? What is their addition? It is minus 5. Minus 8 plus 3 is equal to minus 5. So we will replace this instead of this minus 5xy. We will write this two terms. Okay. 6x square minus 6x square minus 8xy 6x square minus 8xy plus 3xy minus 4y square is equal to what? Is equal to 0. Okay. Instead of minus 5xy, we wrote minus 8xy plus 3xy. That is equal to minus 5xy again. So now 6 and 8 here. So we can take 2 as common okay 2 and x so here it is x square and here also an x is present okay so we can call common out 
x. So what is 2x? What is remaining inside the bracket? 2x. It is 3x minus 4y. Okay. 3x minus 4y. It is remaining inside the bracket. Okay. Also, now we will write this bracket again. 3x minus 4y is equal to 0. So here you can see 3x, 3x. So what is outside the bracket? It is y plus y plus y 2a. So again we see this 2x into 3x it is 6x square. 2x into minus 4y it is minus 8xy. So y into 3x it is 3xy and y into minus 4y it is minus 4y square. Okay, is equal to zero. Now we will collect all these brackets. So in first bracket it is 2x plus y 2x plus y and in second bracket 3x minus 4y 3x minus 4y is equal to 0. So these are actually the separate equations. Okay, These are the separate equations. First equation is 2x plus y is equal to 0 or 3x minus 4y is equal to 0. So these are the separate equations of this combined this combined equation. Okay, So that is how you find the separate equations. You should follow the rules that you use to calculate the factors of a quadratic equation. So 3x minus 4y, this one, and 2x plus y, 2x plus y is equal to 0. This is the correct option. That is how you find the separate equation. You just have to find the factors of that equation. The factors are the separate equations. Okay. Next example. So, see what is given three if the equation 3x square plus 10xy plus 3y square plus 16y plus k is equal to 0 represents a pair of lengths. See, this is the important part. But this equation represents a pair of lengths. So we have already seen what can you write when an equation represents a pair of lengths. So what is the equation here? This 3x square plus 10xy plus 3y square plus 16y plus k is equal to 0. So this was the equation given. Okay, We have to first compare it with standard equation. Now we will first compare it. Compare it with what? Standard form. What is the standard form? It is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. This is the standard form of the equation and this equation is given yeah, in the yeah. example. Okay. So now we will compare these two equations. So what is a? a is in, so coefficient of x square. So a is equal to 3. Again 2h is equal to 10. That means h is equal to Okay. Now b y square and this is 3 y square that means b is equal to 3. Now if you see what is the value of g here? What will be the value of g? If you see closely this 2 g x this is coefficient of x but do you, do you see any term of x here? No. So that means what? 2 g must be 0 that is g is equal to 0. g is equal to 0. Now 2 f y. What is value of 2 f? You can see the term in y here, so it is 16. Coefficient of y is equal to 16, that is 2f is equal to 16, means f is equal to 16 divided by 2, that is 8. Okay, so we just found out the values of a, h, b, g, f, and now what is the value of c according to the standard form c is equal to k. And now we have to find the value of k. C. As I said, important part here is the equation. If equation represents a pair of lines, okay. And when equation represents a pair of lines, when see this is important part. When equation represents a pair of lines, represent a pair of lines. What you can write? You can write as we already seen this, okay. A B C plus two F G H minus A F square minus B G square minus C H square is equal to zero. 
three or four examples before we saw this okay we have used similar thing okay so we will use the use it again here so we remember all the values that contain g they will be zero you can neglect those values they will be null value okay so g is equal to zero so this two fg if g h it will become zero this bg it will be zero as well so now we will substitute all other values okay so a is equal to what a is equal to three what is the value of b it is also three what is the value of c it is k so minus minus a f square so what is a it is three what is f square f is equal to eight so eight square minus this is cancelled so minus c h square so minus c value of c is equal to k and value of h square is equal to pi square is equal to zero next so three into three into k it is nine k minus h square it is sixty four sixty four into three what is sixty four into three it is minus one ninety two this is one ninety two so this minus this minus it is minus one ninety two so k into five square it is twenty five k I square it is twenty five so minus twenty five k is equal to zero. So what is the next step? So nine k minus twenty five k it is minus sixteen k, isn't it? Nine k minus twenty five k it is minus sixteen k minus one ninety two is equal to zero. So we will add one ninety two on both the sides. What do we get? Minus sixteen k is equal to one ninety two, which implies that which implies 16k is equal to minus 192, and k is equal to minus 192 divided by 16. So if you divide 192 by 16, you will get 12. So this this is minus so minus 12. So that is what k is equal to what minus of 12. So this is the correct option. Okay, you should remember. Standard form was you must have learned it by now. A x square plus two h x y plus b y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c is equal to zero. This is the standard form, form, and you have to compare your given equation with this standard form, and you have to find the values of a, b, h, g, f, and c. And when now we have seen few examples. So in this example. It was given that it represents a pair of lines. So whenever an equation represents a pair of lines, you can write this thing. Okay, a b c plus two x j s minus a x square minus b j square minus c x square is equal to zero. You can write this. Okay, when the equation is given is perpendicular, you can you you have seen some other another thing. Okay, what you have seen? A plus b is equal to zero when lines are perpendicular. When lines are parallel. H square minus AB is equal to zero. So you can use different formulas to solve such example. So here K, K is equal to minus twelve. That was the correct option. Okay. Next example. So see what is the question? The joint equation of pair of lines having inclination sixty degree and one twenty degree and passing through the origin is. So we have to find the joint equation of lines. Okay, joint equation of pair of lines. And what is given? Inclinations are given here. So, okay. Inclinations are given. So, first for theta one is equal to what? It is sixty degree given, and theta two for theta two, it is given one twenty degree. So, what what are the slopes? So, in order to find joint equation, first we have to find equation of each line. Okay. And in order to find the equation of each line, we first have to first have to find the values of slope. So, how do we find the values of slope when angles are given? When angle is given, the slope is slope is equal to what? It is tan theta, tangent of theta. What is tangent of theta? Is equal to tan 60 degree. Tan 60 degree is root 3. So this is this is suppose this is m1. M1 is equal to root 2. Similarly for theta 2, tan theta is equal to m is equal to tan theta is equal to what? Tan 120 degree. So what is tan of 120 degree? It is minus root 3. Okay, you should remember these values. So what 
m2 suppose it is m2 is equal to minus root t. so now we found out the value of m1 first and now m2 so what are the standard for form of a line standard form of equation of line when the slope is given it is simply y is equal to m minus suppose here m1 is, and here it is y is equal to m2 x what is y y is equal to m m1 x it is y is equal to root 3 x we can write it as y minus root 3 x is equal to 0 so this will be our first equation okay and similarly we can solve for this m2 what is m2 it is minus root 3 x so y plus root 3 x is equal to 0 this is our second equation this is our second equation so using these two values 160 and 120 we found out the value we found out the equations of two lines okay now we have to find the joint equation how to find the joint equation we have already seen this joint equation is given by joint equation can be calculated by just multiplying these two equations so we will multiply these two equations y minus root 3x into y plus root 3x is equal to 0 so what what does it look like this look like in the standard form of this equation what is the equation a square minus b square what is a square minus b square it is a plus b a minus b so this right hand side it just look like this left hand side of this equation okay so we will what do we will write here it's y minus root 3x y plus root 3x so therefore what is the square of first so y first first term square it is y square minus second term square it is root 3x square is equal to 0 that is y square minus root 3x square what is square of root 3x it is 3x square is equal to 0 square of root 3 it is 3 and x square of x is x square so this is a combined equation okay y square minus 3x square is equal to 0 y square minus 3x square can you see in the equation in the options no so we will try to rearrange this equation suppose this my we multiply this equation by minus 1 what do we get y square becomes minus y square and x square becomes plus x square plus 3x square plus 3x square is equal to 0 now we will rearrange this as 3x square minus y square is equal to 0 so 3x square minus y square is equal to 0 x square minus y square is equal to 0 this is the correct option okay second one is the correct option so that is how you find the joint equation so steps to solve joint equation are similar that is you have to first find the equation of each line and then you have to multiply it but first for that you have to first have to solve equation of each line okay this is how we found out the equation of each line okay so theta was given so m1 is equal to tan theta and we will use this property to find the equation of line okay. now next example So, if m1, m2 are slopes of a line represented by 3x square minus 10xy minus 8y square is equal to 0. So, this is the combined equation is given here. It is combined equation. So, what is combined equation? It is product of two equations of lines. Okay? So, this actually graphically, this, this equation, it contains two lines. Okay? And the slope of first line is m1 and another line is m2 that is given here. Okay? Then equation of lines passing through origin with slopes 1 upon m1 and m2. So for m1 and m2, the combined equation is this. And we have to find the equation of lines, combined equation of lines for this slope. Okay. Okay, now we will first see given equation is 3x square minus 10xy minus 8y square is equal to 0. So now we will compare it with standard equation okay compare with standard equation what is the standard equation it is a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to what zero so if you compare these equations what do we get 
we get a is equal to what? 3. 2h is equal to minus 10. That means a is equal to h is equal to minus 5. Minus 10 divided by 2 it is minus 5. Okay, and b is equal to what? b is equal to minus 8. So these are the these are the terms we find the value of. Okay. So a is equal to 3, h is equal to minus 5, and b is equal to minus 8. See. Now what is m1 plus m2? Slope. The m1 and m2, these are slopes, and this is sum of the slopes. What is sum of the slopes? We have already learned this. It is minus 2h upon b, isn't it? It is minus 2h upon b. So my, what is minus 2h upon b? What is value of 2h? It is minus 10. So minus 2h is equal to minus of minus 10 divided by b. What is value of b? It is minus of 8. So 10 divided by minus 8. That is 2 4 is 8, 8 and 2 5 are 10. So minus 5 upon 4. Minus 5 upon 4 is the value of m1 plus m2. Similarly, we can write for m1 m2. This is product of slope. What is the, the product of slopes? How is it given? It is given as m1 m2 is equal to a by b. So now value of a is equal to 3. Value of b is equal to minus 8. That is minus 3 by 8. Okay, that is minus 3 by 8. So now, now this part you should remember. The slopes. What is it? slope? What are the slopes? Slopes of required lines are slopes of the required line that are given here. Okay, we this is these are the slopes of given line. Okay, this was the given equation of lines. Okay, and these were the slopes of given equation. And we have to find the equation of pair of lines with these slopes one upon m1 and one upon m2. That is, those are the slopes. Of required line that are 1 upon m1 and 1 upon m2. These are the slopes of required lines that we are going to find out. Okay? Therefore, required equation will be it is given as this. Okay, this part you should remember. Okay? Required equation is it is given as c. It is given as y square minus sum of slopes. Sum of slopes. Into x y plus product of slopes, product of slopes into x square into x square is equal to zero. See, this is how the equation is given. If you are if you have m one and m two, that is you have slopes. Then this is how the equation is given. Okay. So now we will put the values here. Okay. So y square. So y square minus what is sum of slopes? What are the slopes here? This is slope of first line. This is slope of second line. So sum of slopes will be one upon m1 plus one upon m2. Okay, one upon m1 plus one upon m2 into x1 plus a product of slopes. What is product of slopes? It is one upon m1. Product first slope is one upon m one into one upon m two into x square is equal to zero. Okay, this is the product. Now what what can we write in next step? That is y square minus. Help me solve this bracket. Okay, what is it? So m one plus m two. If you solve it, one into m two it is m two. And 1 into m1 it is m1. So m2 plus m1. Instead of writing m2 plus m1, we write m1 plus m2 divided by m1 into m2. m1 into m2 xy plus also here 1 upon 1 into 1 it is 1 and m1 into m2 it is m1 m2 x square is equal to 0. Now we will substitute all the values y square minus what is m1 plus m2? This is this part minus 5 by 4 minus 5 divided by 4 divided by what is m1 into m2 m1 into m2 is minus 3 by 8 minus 3 divided by 8 xy plus 
what is 1 upon m1 m2 see m1 m2 is equal to minus 3 by 8 so 1 upon m1 m2 that is reciprocal that is 8 upon minus 3 or minus 8 upon 3 we can write x square is equal to 0 so 1 upon m1 m2 it is 1 upon minus 3 upon x so why what is my 1 upon minus 3 upon 8 it is 8 upon minus 3 or you can write minus 8 upon 3 now i will write in this part of it so now we will solve this bracket this bracket first so what is y square y square minus what is minus c this is minus 5 upon 4 minus 5 upon 4 into what into minus 3 upon 8 so it is 8 upon minus it will you will have to take the reciprocal of it minus 5 by 4 into 8 upon minus 3 so 4 ones are 4 4 is are 8 this minus minus they will get cancelled so 5 into 10 5 into 2 it is 10 10 divided by 3 x y 10 divided by 3 x y plus c here it is minus 8 by 3 x square so what we can write here we can write minus 8 by 3 directly minus 8 divided by 3 x square is equal to 0 so now we see you can see here 3 in the denominator so we will multiply whole equation by 3 now what do we get 3 y square minus 10 x y minus 8 x square is equal to what 0 so 3 y square minus 10 x y minus 8 x square is equal to 0 this is the required equation required combined equation of pair of lines okay so formula that you have to remember here is this this formula okay this formula you have to remember that is y square minus sum of slopes into x y plus product of slopes into x square okay y square minus sum of slopes into x y plus product of slopes into x square this is the formula you have to remember and it will be easy for you to solve okay next example so again here an equation is given a similar example this, uh, that we saw here just like this example okay what here also it, uh, an equation was given which represented a pair of lines and what we wrote here this part okay so similarly we can call this equation with same method what is given here x square plus k y square plus x minus y is equal to what? 0. What is the standard equation? Compare with compare with we have to compare it with standard form. What is the standard for a x square plus b y square sorry 2 h x square it's a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equal to 0 so a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equal to 0 and the equation first we will write the values a b and h all the values so what are the values if you compare it with this given equation if a is equal to it will be 1 so what is value of h so x y x y term is not present with the given equation so h must be 0 now b is equal to what coefficient of y square what is the coefficient of y square it is k plus 29 x the coefficient of x is 29 sorry 29 it is 2g okay sorry 2g so 2g two 2g two what is 2g coefficient of x is 2g here coefficient of x is equal to 1 so g must be 1 upon 2 similarly we can find for f so 2f is equal to what coefficient of y what is coefficient of y here it is minus 1 so minus 1 so that means f is equal to minus 1 by 2 f is equal to minus 1 by 2 now c is equal to 
C minus that means the constant C is equal to it is not given here. No constant is present in the first equation, so C must be zero. So again, as we already used, what we can say about these equations? This equation, the given equation, okay, the given equation represents a pair of lines. Okay, a pair of lines. As it represents a pair of lines, we can write a b c plus 2 f g h minus a f square minus b g square minus c h square is equal to 0. Now we will substitute the values. Okay, what is value of a? It is 1. What is value of b? It is a. What is value of c? It is 0. See here. This C term C is 0 and H is equal to 0. zero. So those values will be 0. 1K0 plus this 2. What is the value of F? It is minus half. Value of F is minus half. Value of G is equal to half. And value of H is equal to 0. Minus A F square. For A F square, what is the value of A? It is 1 into f square it is minus 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 2 square so minus bg square what is value of b it is k into g square it is half square what is value of g is half so half square minus c value of c is 0 and h square h is also 0 so 0 square so these values they can be neglected okay they will be neglected okay so what is next step so minus 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 one into what is half square it is one by four minus half square it is still one by four minus k into what is one by two square it is one by four is equal to zero which implies minus one by four means minus one into one by four it is minus one by four it is minus k by four is equal to zero that is minus k by four is equal to minus one by four will be 1 by 4 on the right hand side okay so this 4 and 4 will be cancelled that is k is equal to what it is minus 4 so this minus sign goes on the right hand side so k is equal to minus 1 2. so the second option will be the correct option okay k is equal to minus 1 so remember this whenever it is said that an equation represents a pair of lines you can surely write this abc plus 2 fgs minus a f square minus bg square minus c h square is equal to 0 you can write this and then use it to solve your question okay and next example if lines represented by equation p x square minus q y square is equal to 0 are distinct then so given that the lines are distinct and that means they intersecting only one point distinct lines okay so what is given here p x square minus q y square is equal to zero again we will compare it with the standard form what is the standard form standard form is a x square minus plus 2 h x y h x y plus b y square is equal to zero this is the standard form okay standard form of equation of lines so if we compare it with the given equation so a is equal to what a is equal to p so can you see any x y term in the given equation no the equal x y term is not present that means what 2 h must be zero that is h is equal to zero now b is equal to coefficient of y square what is the coefficient of y it is minus q so b is equal to minus so what is given the lines are real and distinct lines are distinct it is given so when the lines are real and distinct see this when the lines are When the lines are real and distinct, you can write 
h square minus a b is greater than zero. Okay. See, for your information, when the lines are real and distinct, you can write h square minus a b is equal a b is greater than zero. When h square minus a b is zero, h square minus a b is equal to zero. Then the lines are coincident. So lines are coincident. Okay. Coincident means both lines are actually same. They lie on each other. So h square minus a b is equal to zero. Then lines are coincident. And h square minus a b, if it is less than zero, then lines are lines are imaginary. Okay, lines are imaginary. Cannot be drawn. Okay, can't be drawn on paper or anywhere. So that is. H when h square minus a b is greater than zero, that means it is positive. Only when the it is positive, the lines are real and distinct. Okay, when it is equal to zero, h square minus a b is equal to zero. The lines are coincident. That means they coincide. Okay, and when h square minus a b is equal is less than zero, that is it is negative. The lines are imaginary and they cannot be drawn. Okay. Now we will substitute the values here. So what is the value of h? It was zero. Zero square minus a b. What is a? It is p, and b is equal to minus q greater than zero. So minus minus q is equal is equal to plus. So p into q it is p q. P q greater than zero. So this is the correct option. Okay. So first option. First option is the correct option. P q greater than zero. Okay. Now we will see. Next example. So here, so may seem that this example example is difficult, but it is not okay. You just have to compare it with the standard form. Okay. So what is the given equation here? It is one plus sine square theta x square plus two h x y plus two sine theta. Y square is equal to zero. What is the standard equation? Standard form. Standard form is given as a x. Standard form is given as One plus sine square theta x square plus two h x y plus two sine theta y square. This is the e e given equation, and we will compare it with a x square plus two h x y plus b y square. Okay, is equal to zero. See here x square. You can see here also x square. So what is a? A is the coefficient of x square. That is one plus sine square. That is a is equal to one plus sine square theta. A is equal to one plus sine square theta. Similarly, two h is equal to what? Two h is equal to two h. Okay. Now see, and b is equal to what? B is equal to coefficient of y square. What is coefficient of y square? It is two sine theta. Two sine theta. B is equal to two sine theta. So, and what is given also in this equation? We have previously solved such example. Okay, one for perpendicular line, one for parallel lines. We have solved. Okay. So this one is for perpendicular line. So when the lines are perpendicular, when the lines are perpendicular, it is given that these two lines are perpendicular. When the lines are perpendicular, what we can write? We can write a plus b is equal to zero. See, when the lines are parallel, we we can write h square is equal to a b. Okay. And when the lines are perpendicular, we can write a plus b is equal to zero. So what is a here? It is one plus sine square theta plus b. What is b? Two sine theta. Okay. Two sine theta is equal to what? Zero. One plus sine square theta plus two sine theta. What is b is equal to two sine theta? That is what? One plus one plus sine square theta plus Two sine theta is equal to zero. If you look closely, you will find that this is actually the square of which term? It is actually square of one plus 
sin theta square is unto this is the square of one plus sin theta. Okay, one plus sin theta. If you if anyone wants to calculate, it is see one plus sin theta square is equal to what one square it is one plus two into x y or two a b you say that two one into sin theta it is two sin theta plus sin theta square that is sin square theta c one plus two sin theta plus sin square theta that is this one plus sin square theta plus two sin theta is equal to zero so this was the perfect square of one plus sin theta so that is now what we can write in the next step one plus sin theta is equal to if we take square root on both sides, 1 plus sin theta is equal to 0. That means, what does it mean? Sin theta is equal to, if we take this 1 on the right hand side, sin theta is equal to minus of 1. Sin theta is equal to minus of 1. Okay. And when is sin theta is equal to minus 1? Sin theta is equal to minus 1 when? Sin pi divided by 2. Okay. Minus sin pi divided by 2. That is sin of theta is equal to sin of 2 pi minus pi by 2. These are basic trigonometric formulas that you have, you must remember. Okay, that is sin theta is equal to sin 2 pi minus pi by 2. What is 2 pi minus pi by 2 is sin of 4 pi minus pi by 2. That is sin 3 pi by 2, sin 3 pi by 2. So, what I will write here okay. sin theta is equal to what? Sin 3 pi by 2. Sin theta is equal to sin 3 pi by 2. So, sin on both sides, if we cancel it, what do we get? Theta is equal to 3 pi by 2. What is it? Theta is equal to 3 pi by 2. Okay. So, this was the correct option. Okay. Theta is equal to 3 pi by 2. Okay, now we will solve next example. What is given in the example? If the acute angle between the lines 3x square minus 4hxy plus 3y square is equal to 0 is 30. What is given here? An equation of pair of line is given. This is equation of pair of lines. Okay, combined equation it is. And acute angle is given. What is acute angle it is? 30 degree. Okay. So now we will try to solve this equation. First, we will write the equation as it is 3x square minus 4hxy plus 3y square is equal to 0. And let us compare it with the standard form. Compare with standard form. What is the standard form? It is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square is equal to 0. It suggests that a is equal to 3. What is 2h? 2h is equal to minus 4h, isn't it? 2h x y that is minus 4h means h is equal to what? What is h? It is minus 2h, isn't it? If we divide these two on the right hand side, we get h is equal to minus 2h. Similarly, b is equal to what? 3. So a is equal to 3. h is equal to minus 2h b is equal to root. these three values we got from the comparison okay. now tan theta how acute angle is given it is given as tan theta is equal to root we have already seen such example before okay 2 into what is in the root it is h square minus a b divided by a plus b so tan theta is equal to modulus of 2 into bracket h square minus a b divided by a plus b but what is theta? It is 10 30 degree. Okay. So 2 into bracket. What is h? H square. We have to take square of h. But what is h? Minus 2h. Minus 2h square minus a b. What is a b? 3 into 3. It is 9. We can write it directly. What is a plus b? It is 3 plus 3. It is again. What is 3 plus 3? It is 6. So inside bracket. So, tan 30 degree, what is tan 30 degree? We can write here we have the value for tan 30. So, 
so what is value of tan 30 it is 1 divided by root 3 is equal to 2 into bracket what is inside the bracket minus 2h square that is 4h square minus 9 is divided by 6 is equal to 0 next step what we can write 1 upon the root 3 1 upon the root 3 is equal to root series 2 ones are 2 2 threes are 6 therefore root 4 h square minus 9 divided by 3 so if we square square this squaring this on both sides what do we get 1 upon 3 is equal to 4 h square minus 9 divided by 9 okay this root will root and square they will get cancelled what is remain in the numerator 4 h square minus 9 is 1 square is equal to 1 root 3 square is equal to 3 and 3 square is equal to 9 now see this divided by 9 it will be multiplied on the left hand side okay so 9 divided by 3 is equal to 4 h square minus 9 implies 4 h square minus 9 is equal to 9 divided by 3. What is 9 divided by 3? It is 3. So 4 h square is equal to 3 plus 9. That is 4 h square is equal to 12. That is h square is equal to 12 divided by sorry 12 divided by 4. That is h square is equal to sorry, divided by 12 divided by 4 it is 3 and h is equal to what then if we take square root of 3 it is plus minus root of 3 okay? plus minus root of 3 that is the correct option plus minus root of 3 so this is how you will find if the if the acute angle is given you can find any any of the values that a b or h if any one of these value is not given you can find this that value okay and if theta is not given and then you can find the value of theta using a h and b so these are the variables here a h b and theta so four of them are there one of them will not be given and you will have to find it using another three, all the other three okay. next example so if the angle between the pair of straight lines represented by the equation equation is given here it's tan inverse 3 angle is also given here in this previous example okay similar in previous example the angle is also given it was 30 degree and in this example the angle is tan inverse of 3 okay it is still an angle okay it is given in some different sign but it is an angle and this equation of line is given we will process we will use the similar process okay so what is given first x square minus 3xy plus lambda y square plus 3x plus 5y plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, now we will compare it with the standard equation. Compare with what is the standard equation? It is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to what? 0. Let's see what is actually first we will see what is theta. What is theta? Theta is given as tan inverse of 3. That is what it implies that tan of theta is equal to what? Tan of theta is equal to 3 actually. Okay? If we take this tan inverse on the left hand side then what is tan of theta is equal to it is equal to 3 okay and what is formula our what is our formula it is what is the formula to find the tangent of theta it is tan theta is equal to what modulus of 2 root h square minus a b divided by a plus b okay this is the formula so if you see this formula we only want to find the value of we only need the values of a, b and h. So we are not going to find the values of g, f and c. Okay. So only we will write the values of 
a h and b so what is the value of a it is 1 what is value of 2h is equal to minus 3 that is h is equal to minus 3 by 2 what is value of b that is the coefficient of y square it is lambda okay so these three values are required okay so h is equal to minus 3 by 2 b is equal to lambda and a is equal to 1 so we'll substitute there those values and we will solve the, equa the equation okay so tan theta is equal to what it is 3 so 2 into root root of h square minus b what is h it is 3 divided by 2 square minus a b what is a b a is equal to 1 b is equal to lambda so 1 into lambda is still lambda so a plus b what is a plus b 1 plus lambda 1 plus lambda okay 1 plus lambda so again 3 is equal to 1 2 into root 3 by 2 square what is 3 by 2 square it is 9 divided by 4 minus lambda divided by 1 plus lambda so see this is a positive value okay so we can cancel this modulus that is 3 is equal to what now 3 is equal to 3 is equal to 2 root 2 root see we will now solve this part this part so 4 into lambda is, is equal to 4 lambda so 9 minus 4 lambda divided by 9 minus 4 lambda divided by 4 whole divided by 1 plus lambda okay so see if we now we will square all this term all the terms we will square them okay what is 3 square it is 9 what is 2 square of 2 it is 4 and what is remaining inside the bracket 9 minus 4 lambda divided by 4 divided by 1 plus lambda square so we we just squared all the terms okay 3 square is equal to 9 2 square is equal to 4 square root square of square root is 9 minus 4 lambda divided by 4 and 1 plus lambda square of 1 plus lambda it is 1 plus lambda square so this 4 and this 4 they will get cancelled so 9 what is remain 9 into 1 plus lambda square is equal to 9 minus 4 lambda okay we take this 9 1 plus lambda square on the left hand side so what we we get 9 1 plus lambda square is equal to 9 minus 4 lambda now we will solve this okay so 9 Okay, now we will solve this what we have to find we have to find the value of lambda okay. 9 1 plus lambda what is the square of 1 plus lambda it is 1 square 1 square it is 1 plus 2 lambda plus lambda square is equal to 9 minus 4 lambda isn't it 9 minus 4 lambda so let us multiply 9 plus 18 lambda plus 9 lambda square is equal to 9 minus 4 lambda okay so you can solve this quadratic equation okay we must simplify it then. okay 9 plus 18 lambda plus 9 lambda square is minus 9 plus 4 lambda is equal to what 0 so this plus 9 minus 9 they will get cancelled so 18 lambda plus 4 lambda it is, I will write here, 18 lambda plus 4 lambda it is 22 lambda and 9 lambda square. So 9 lambda square plus 22 lambda is equal to 0. If you solve this, you will get the answer, okay? You just follow, so this is the correct option here. You, you have to follow the rules of solving quadratic equation. If you solve this quadratic equation, you will find the value, okay? Okay. See, so, okay, I will solve it. You can solve it at home, okay. But I will solve it, okay. 9 lambda square plus 22 lambda is equal to 0. Let us take lambda common. 
So what is remaining inside the bracket? Nine. 9 lambda plus 22 is equal to 0. This suggests that lambda is equal to 0 or lambda lambda is equal to 0 or 9 lambda plus 22 is equal to 0. That is 9 lambda is equal to minus 22. That is lambda is equal to min minus 22 divided by 9. But what is given here? See, in the example, what is given? Lambda is non-negative real number. It is given. So, okay non negative so this is negative so this is not valid so which is the valid one this lambda is equal to 0 is the valid one so this is our correct option okay okay next example this one will be our last example okay today the equation x square what is given an equation is given x square minus 6xy plus lambda y square plus 10x minus 14y plus 9 is equal to 0. Now we will compare it with compare with what? Standard equation over x square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to what? 0. Okay. So equation it is given when lambda is real number represents a pair of lines. So Again, you have to remember this part. Okay, represents. This might be the third or fourth example that we will solve in similar way. Okay, represent. It represents a pair of straight lines. Okay. We will first we will compare it. So a is equal to what? A is equal to here. One, two h is equal to minus six. That means h is equal to minus three. B is equal to what? B is equal to lambda. 2g is equal to minus 10 that is g is equal to sorry 2, g is equal to plus 10 it is okay see the 2gx coefficient of x is 10 so g is equal to what 5 now f what is value of it 2f is equal to what 2fy so what is value the coefficient of y it is minus 14 minus 14 so f is equal to what minus of 7 okay minus 7 and what is value of c c must be c means the constant that is 9 c is equal to 9 so these are the values that we got after the comparison so these are the values a h b g f and c now what is given as i said it is said that represent it this equation it represents a pair of lines so when when equation represents a pair of lines, a pair of straight lines. When it represents a pair of straight lines, we can write A, B, C plus 2F, G, H minus A, F square minus B, G square minus C, H square is equal to 0. See, similar examples we have already seen. Okay? Now we will substitute all the values. What is value of A? It is 1. Value of B? It is lambda. Into value of C? It is 9. Plus. Plus C. 2 into value of A. What is value of F? It is minus 7. Value of G? It is 5. Value of H? It is minus 3. Minus 3. Minus. A F square. What is A? It is 1. What is f square? f square means minus 7 square minus 7 square minus bg square. What is b? Lambda. What is g square? Phi square. It is phi square minus c h square. What is c? It is 9 h square. What is h? Minus 3. It is minus 3 square is equal to 0. So what is next step? It is 9 lambda. 9 lambda, lambda minus minus what what is multiplication of 2 7 5 and 3 it is it is mine the multiplication will be 210 it is minus and minus they will be plus so plus 210 see again this minus 7 square will be 49 so minus 49 here we can write minus 49 again 5 square is equal to 25 that is 
minus 25 lambda. So minus 3 square it is 9, 9 into 9 it is minus of 81 is equal to 0. So we get 9 lambda minus 9 lambda plus 210 minus 49 minus 25 lambda minus 81. So we can write this as if you solve this, you will get minus 16 lambda plus 80 is equal to 0. See this 200 minus 49 minus 81 will be 80 and 9 lambda minus 25 lambda it is minus 16 lambda. You we'll solve this on the right hand side. So minus 16 lambda is equal to 80 or we will solve it here. Minus 16 lambda is equal to minus 80 that means minus 80. So lambda is equal to minus 80 minus 80 divided by minus 60. So minus minus they get cancelled and lambda is equal to what? Lambda is equal to 5. So lambda, the value of lambda we got is 5. Now we will, now what is given? We have to find the cot square theta but we do not know the uh, value for formula for cot square theta but we know value formula for tan theta. What is formula for tan theta? It is 2 under root h square minus ab divided by what? A plus B. A plus B. Now we will substitute these values to mod 2 into root. What is H? H is minus 3. So minus 3 square root is 9. Minus A into B. What is A? 1. What is B? Lambda. So 1 into lambda it is lambda. Divided by A plus B. What is A plus B? 1 plus lambda. 1 plus lambda. See. That is equal to what? That is equal to 2. Now we found what is the value of lambda? Value of lambda is equal to 5. So 2 root 9 minus 5 divided by 1 plus 5. That is 2 into root 4 divided by 6. That is 2 into root, sorry. That is, that is what? 2 into root 4 means 2 into 2 divided by 6. That is 4 upon 6, that is 2 into 2 to the 4, 2 3 to 6. So 2 divided by 3, what do we got? We got that tan theta is equal to 2 divided by 3. But that is not the value we want, okay? Well, we want the value of cot square theta. So tan theta is equal to 2 by 3, therefore cot of theta is equal to 3 by 2. So for tan and cot are inversely proportional to each other. So tan theta is equal to 2 by 3. That means cot theta is equal to 3 by 2. Now cot square theta is, what is cot square theta? Is 3 square by 2 square. That is 9 by 4. So this is correct option. Okay. okay. This is the last example today. The next like, examples we will see tomorrow.